The difference between a done and a closed status can be a little confusing at first, but they have distinct differences that can be beneficial depending on how you like to organize your work. So in this example here, we have a status called done and a status called complete. If we look at our statuses um, where we can change them, um, we can have as many done statuses as you want. Uh, maybe we have a done status called canceled. Um, we can move that down here. Um, maybe we have, uh, a, so a done status can mean anything that you want to affect a task so it doesn't show as overdue. So maybe a project gets canceled, maybe it's finished, maybe it's ready to be published, maybe it has been published. So anything that you want to show as not overdue. You can have as many as you want, like I mentioned. You can only have one closed status, though. Um, you can, by default, ClickUp calls it complete, but you can call it closed, complete, finished, live, whatever you'd like. Um, but the a best practice is, is to think of the closed status as the very last line of, or the very last step that that work can go through. So from beginning to middle to end, there's no further progress past closed. There can be further progress past done. Maybe a project gets canceled, but then it gets started up again and it goes back to active, but there's no status past closed, so if you think of it that way. Now, the functionality difference. So if we look at this list, we have five tasks in the design list here, and it says five. If I change this task to done, it's a done status. You see that little check mark next to done. We still have five tasks according to ClickUp. And by default, all, I'm sorry, not by default, but all done tasks will always display. Same thing if we go to our subtasks here. If we change outline knowledge base to done, we still have three subtasks and it, dis and it still shows. If we use the closed status if we change detail product blueprint to complete by default ClickUp hides that task and it reduces the number of tasks we have so here now it says four instead of five and it's hidden by default so if you like a really clean look to your lists if you want your list to only show open work closed would be the way to go if you want to see all of your work that's been completed or done then you, uh, you would use the done status. So here you can click on show closed and then it's still going to show this stat, this task is completed or closed. It's just going to hide it. And you also have the option here in your view settings to show closed tasks or subtasks. So also by default, we have three subtasks here. If I change right topics to complete, it is also hidden and it, and it reduces my subtasks from three to two. So here, if I make publish to team done, we still have two subtasks. If I change it to complete, we have one subtask. Just like a regular task, though, you can hit show closed subtasks, and now you see them. So the main difference is you can't hide a done status. It will always show. And a done status will still contribute towards the total number of tasks or subtasks. But if you change this done status to complete, it reduces the number of open tasks to three. And then here you can also see that it reduces the number of subtasks.